One of the questions we get often in our training and even in blog posts, how do I properly delete a module for my Drupal website? Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, on your production server, you only want just the modules you need because Drupal is an event-based system and every module is run or you know checked on on every page load. So the more modules you have just sitting there that aren't supposed to be there, well, the slower your site gets. So yes, on production, we want to only have the modules that we absolutely need. Now, deleting a module in Drupal 9, it's really simple. But there are a couple of things you should know before you do. So let's dive in. I'm here on one of my Drupal training sites, and all I've really got installed here is the administration toolbar, a few contributed modules that I use, and then a custom module that we build in our class. So let's go ahead and talk about uninstalling this module. This one is a pretty simple module. It is not required by any other module, but it does require the block module. So here's Thought number one, you can't uninstall a module that is required by another module. You have to install all of that in order to do so, because Drupal has a lot of dependencies like that. In this case, I can go ahead and uninstall it because it's not required by any other module. It just requires the block module. Now to do so, again, two steps here that you want to take. Number one, you want to come and uninstall the module first and then delete the code from the code base. If you delete the code from the code base before you uninstall the module here, there's a really good chance you're going to brick your Drupal website. And the only way to get it back would be to manually upload the files again. So let's do this. Click on Install. I'm just going to search for the module that I want to uninstall. I can put a check mark in here because Drupal will double check and make sure that this module's not required by any other module, and click Uninstall. Now, before you click Uninstall the second time, you want to make sure that you read this. All data from a module you're uninstalling will be lost. So if your module does interact with the database in some way, shape, or form, all of that data will be deleted, including in this custom module, two tables that are created when you actually install the module the first time. So I'm going to click Uninstall. And now the module is gone from my website. However, if I click on List, the module is still here in the list because I've not deleted the files from the code base. The next step then would be to do one of two things. You either SFTP into your website if that's how you access your files, or head in via the command line and use command line tools to delete the file. You, of course, you could also have uninstalled this using Drush to begin with. I'm obviously on a local machine here, and so there's RSVP list right in the list of modules. To get rid of this completely, again, I just move it to the trash. If I'm on a live server somewhere, again, I'm going to use SFTP, or I'm going to use the command line and just delete the entire directory. Now, it's important at this point that we clear cache, and now the module is not even available anymore. So again, it's really important that on your production server, you only have the modules you absolutely need. And it's also important that you just don't go around deleting files out of your code base without thinking through the implications. If it's a multi-site and many sites might use this module, then again, you've got to think long and hard before you do so. But in order to uninstall the module, Extend, uninstall, click, uninstall, and then head over to your code base and remove the folder completely, and you're good to go. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release new videos every week, and we'd love to see you back here next week as well.